Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see what is super props. We will see what does super do and why do we need to pass super props and why do we always need to pass in props. So I have created a new react application by doing create a react app. So here I have a demo component which I have made. It has a basic structure and it returns a demo component as in h1. So now in my app.js I am going to make a new demo component. So I will write demo and I'll import this component import demo from dot slash demo and now let's pass in prop in this component like name equals to surfer as let's save this now we are having a prop name okay so let's go to our demo.js and here we will write constructor which will take only one argument which is props and here we need to call super only super let's save this and let's go to the browser and we see our demo component now if i want to print this dot props in here let's console this and let's go to the browser and let's see our console right click inspect and if i go to console so here you can see it is printing undefined and if we go to our react dev tools let's go to component and if i click on demo here you can see it is showing prop name surfer as okay so why here it is not printing and it is giving undefined so if we want to access this prop in the constructor we need to pass in props here so if I pass props, so now if I go to the browser, so now it is printing the prop name self as okay. Let's go to the code and if I remove this prop and here if I want to access this dot props dot name, let's save this and let's go to the browser. So you can see that it is printing my name it is printing that prop name okay so why this is happening actually the react is giving access to this stuff this dot props automatically in any of the method inside this class except constructor if we want to access this dot props in constructor we need to pass props and if we don't want to access this dot props in constructor we don't need to have props okay so please make this clear if we want to access this dot prop in constructor we need to pass props if we don't want to access this dot props in constructor we don't have to pass in props here so this is very standard so now if i write this dot props dot name here and if i do props and console log this dot props here if i go to the browser you can see now we are having access to both my name set for as this props is also printing and you can see that we are accessing this props this dot props here also and now if i go to the code now if we are only setting state okay this dot state equals to let's keep it empty and if i remove this props and if i save this and if i go to the browser there will be no problem we can still access everything and if i add here color in the state which is suppose red and if i want to access this color so if i write here this dot state dot color and if i save this and I, if i go to the browser we can access this so it is best to have props here it is a standard format and there's one more thing if i don't use this super at all if i remove this and if i save this and if i go to the browser so here it is giving an error must call super constructor in derived class before accessing this so there is no this if i am not calling super in the constructor so we need to call this super to access this so i need to make sure i have super in the constructor but again this is pretty standard just do super props okay so this is it for this video please like share and comment and one more thing i have made a course on react and redux which is in hindi and if you want to buy below is the link 
I am giving 90% off so please visit the link if you are interested in buying. So see you in some other videos. So till then take care and bye bye.